How you doing here? It's Paul Waterloo. <clears throat> I've got my 2007 Audi S8 up for sale. These are my winter wheels, which I converted to my summer and winter wheels. Uh, they're 19 inch peelers off of a S4 with um, uh, the rings to go from the two hub sizes. Uh, I figure I'd just do a walk around. First off, I bought the car back in 2012. Uh, from Audi Dallas for a one owner car. It was Pretty close to the condition. It's in now. It was pretty much perfect and I uh, In a long time Audi enthusiast have owned uh, a 97 a8 a 2001 s8 and then this 2007 s8 this is the, the daddy of them all but um, this car is awesome and I hope you can recognize the kind of shape it's in it's in beautiful shape it does have a few little uh defects on it but overall for 2007 it's just in awesome shape um i'm just doing a slow walk around first you can see the um the how it's got no dings on it at all uh, the rear bumper doesn't have any scratches on it uh, the front bumper's got a couple little small things the hood has a couple of small chips in it very small but overall it's just in great shape it's uh, running right now that's why the headlights are on, or the running lights are on and uh i'll show you a couple of the defects like uh you know right here we've got this little scratch you can just see there's still some bugs on there but for the most part you can see little things like this uh, minor for what it is there's something like this this on the hood uh i'm not in the sun any longer but in the pictures you can see like here's a little tiny chip right here um but those are in the pictures uh the biggest defect on the outside of the car is it got hit it ran over something on the highway i'm gonna first off turn off the music and down here there's a there's a scrape and um that so it ran, ran over something in the highway it's actually my wife uh but it's got a little gouge in there it's probably about a 16th of an inch deep um it never really bothered me except when my wife told me about it and here it is from the outside you can barely see it but it's there and it should be disclosed um i'll walk you around the 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 car has been garaged the guy who owned it who bought it new in dallas uh, garaged it its whole life. I can tell you that for sure without knowing the guy. Uh, he owned it for about four or five years. And if you were just to look at the rear bumper, you can just see there's there's that scratch on it. And I've garaged it my whole time I've had it. And I've been, I've been working at home my whole life. I'm in sales. So I would use this on occasion to go to nuclear power plants. And uh, for the most part, it just stayed in the garage where I work from home. Uh, there is the trunk does have an issue with it and that is i've replaced the little latch motor before and you got to just help it up a little bit to get that to get that trunk up and what it is is this piece this piece is not adjusted right that goes to a, a motor behind the battery and uh, i put it in and it never worked right uh, it does close by itself no problem and I'll show you what happens when it opens. If you watch, well, the left-hand side, it, it doesn't want to open. It, it opens the right-hand side. I'll do it one more time. It opens the right-hand side, but it doesn't want to open the left-hand side. So it's got to be adjusted. Or what you do is you just, you just help it up the first quarter of an inch, and it's fine. So that's why I haven't fixed it. Um, I do have it set up so you can... There was some mod that was posted on the forums. So you can actually, if you did fix that, you could open and close it from inside. But if I hit the, the trunk button here, that that's not, or on the remote, uh, that's a mod that I did to the car. Um, the, the other issue that it has is the driver's door soft close doesn't work uh, all the time. It's, it needs to be fixed. So you can see it just latched itself. But if I do it again, well, it just latch itself again. But most of the time, it doesn't work. Now it wants to work, but it, it, does, it isn't working. 
And there it goes. It didn't didn't really work. Watch, it won't work now. Well, it's working, but normally it doesn't. All the other doors, the soft close work just fine. Um, so those are the two major items. The other item is that the air conditioning system has a Freon leak, and then I charge it in the summer. Normally, I just use this car in the winter, and so when I use it for the winter, I don't need air conditioning. I have a, a Porsche 911 I drive in the summer. I just recently came back from Florida. I, I charged the system. Uh, you know, a couple of days ago, it's working great, but it, it definitely needs to be repaired. And I believe it's down near the compressor. That's why I haven't fixed it. I've always maintained the car myself. Um, the car is just absolutely gorgeous. Got all the options. It has, I've had the WeatherTech uh, uh, seat, uh, the WeatherTech liners in there for, since like the first year I owned it. I also have the S8. Uh, I'm gonna just turn it off for a second. So the other thing that I just want to point out, it's got a little salt build up from Chicago right there. I don't think people are really going to notice it, but I just want to disclose it. Um, I just cleaned the leather last weekend. And I conditioned everything and these ivory seats came out so beautiful. Um, they were pretty dirty uh, and now they're just super clean. The doors are in just great shape. Um, everything about it is in super nice shape. The, the rear is beautiful. It's got the rear climate control. It has the, it's got the window shades. It's got the rear window shade. That works. Um, and there's a couple other little things that the, these, these armrests have been known. Like this latch is kind of, it's, it's, it's kind of broken, but it works. <laughs> it works just fine. And I don't normally mess with it. Um, and then also this cup holder where it has the the spring piece on this side. It's It's got to be reset or fixed or something. But it's never bothered me. Um, I did replace the MMI gear for the, um, for the screen previously. You can just see how beautiful that, that seat is. And then on the driver's seat, that, that's the wear on the bolster. So it's hardly noticeable. Um, once again, everything's just super, super clean on the car. Has the leather dash. Uh, and, you know, it's just, everything's clean. It's got the black Alcantara headliner. Um, I've never done carbon cleaning on the, on the car at all, on the engine. Just so you know, full disclosure. Uh, I'll start it back up. I did replace... Uh, I've done a lot of work on the car over the years. Um, it, it runs great. I just uh, renewed my XM for three years. So you get three years of XM at no cost. Um, I think I just mentioned I replaced the hood cable about two years ago. It had broken. That's always a fun thing to repair. But the engine, uh, I've replaced the uh, spark plugs. Um... I've replaced the spark plugs about seventy-five thousand. I've um, I had a problem with the um, it's just a, I had a problem with the high pressure well the the air pump the secondary air injection. So I fixed that a couple years ago. That was just a, a that's down in the bottom underneath that air box, and uh, that was just a simple fix. I've done the low pressure low pressure. Um, uh, power steering line. I've replaced both of the front struts with the uh, rebuilt Master Tech uh, struts. I did the front left about four years ago, and I did the front right about two years ago. And it had an issue. They have a um, they have a lifetime warranty. They sent me another one, and then that one had a slow leak. So I got another one, and I think they sent me back the one with a slow leak. And I ended up finally getting it sorted out about five months ago. So I had to change that. And just so you know, like if you ever did maintenance on this car, that uh, pinch bolt, it's, it's brand new. It's perfect. It comes out super easy. Um, I think I got the, the S8 engine covers for this. I know I do somewhere, but um, the Audi rings are, are broken off of them. So uh, not exactly 
you'd have to do a repair on those. I do have an extra set of, of brake pads, brand new front OEM brake pads. I've got uh, the only real mod I've ever done on this car. If you could see the, the mirror is the European mirror with the uh, vertical line. So this is wide angle on the left. I always do that with my cars. And um, I have a set of 20, in, the 20 inch OEM wheels. Uh, the tires are basically shot. They don't, they don't have um, really any wear on them, but they, they're, like, they're like squares. So those wheels are almost in perfect shape. I'll get some pictures and post those. So that's overall walk around on the car.